In this video, I'm going to discuss the measurement strategy and observations that I've noticed from doing torsional base training. I'm going to be doing the standard yearly doctor's measurement of height, and since it is easier, I'm going to do monthly self-measurement of wingspan. My wingspan right now is around 75 inches, but there is some measurement variation. If I do self-measurement of 75 and a quarter on wingspan, I can say with certainty that torsional base training works to increase wingspan. But if I got 75 and an eighth or even 75 and 1 16th, my confidence that this works will really go up as I'm fairly consistent measuring 75 inches or slightly under. I'll report the measurement every month. The problem with doing height is that it's harder for me to get a consistent reading and it's harder to self-measurement. For proof of concept, wingspan is easier and it's easier to exert torsional force on the arms because the arms can grip things. The most effective exercises I've found so far are hammer curls with a twist and dumbbell overhead presses with a twist, really maximizing the degree with which you twist. The more you twist, the more torsional force is going to be and the more deformation forces there's going to be on the bone. There's a fundamental limit in, to the degree in which you twist. So I don't think over twisting is really con a concern. People will say, well, what are the possible risks on the joints? We'd have to study individual exercises and look at the effects, but I can say anecdotally that I haven't really felt any joint issues. And I have had joint issues before, like from doing ass to grass squats. So I, I have some indication of what sort of things are indicative of joint issues. Now for legs, the best exercises I've found are split-legged wood, wood chops. Um, I'm using a 45-pound plate. Um, if I could go higher, I, I, could, I would. Um, trunk rotation is key for the legs, as the other body part that you can rotate to increase torsional force, the feet, are hard to add weight to. Although you could theoretically find some way to add weights to your feet, either by gripping weights with your toes, but that, that would be light, or by attaching plates to your feet with magnets or something. I'm trying some other stuff, but these exercises are what I've found to be the best so far. Um, it's not a comprehensive list by any means, but these are the ones that I recommend as a starting point. Hopefully after a month, I'll start to have some indications of growth, if not yet above a measurement error. Hopefully uh, the ruler will start to, I'll start to get higher measurements. My, already um, over my adult lifespan, my wingspan has increased from 72.5 to 74.5, and then from 74.5 to 75 but I wasn't really consistently measurement, measuring wingspan. It was just sort of an observation. It's unfortunate that doctors do not measure wingspan because it would be a good way to say diagnose Marfan syndrome. So if doctors had measured wingspan over time, then we'd have some evidence already. Um, I was doing some torsional based exercises when my I noticed my a wingspan increase. But only, I was only doing them occasionally, and the reason I was doing them is because I thought the torsion would be a good way to directly get the load onto the bone itself. I was doing a bunch of different exercises, so it's hard to say what was working and what wasn't, but hopefully I will have some results in a month.